Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you guys are doing well today. I'm just going to do a quick video here uh, to show you how to make specimen slides. Uh, ones with um, the full hole in there or ones with the partial. And this is just made out of paper bag. Like a little lunch bag that I folded in half and cut some strips off here but if you don't want to use a craft knife if a craft knife is difficult for you to use which I completely understand or um, you're a little worried about using a craft knife no big deal okay if you have a hole punch circle punch I mean you can do that so I'm gonna do one here that goes all the way through Well, I say it goes all the way through. I didn't have this problem the last time I did this. It's not wanting to go through. Okay. It's fine. So we'll just do it this way. And I'll go in down here. Okay. Now there is one that doesn't go all the way through. You can trim that off. <laughs> uh, don't know why that's not wanting to do that. Like I said, I didn't have that problem when I was doing this the first time. the woes of cameras doing stuff on film forget it I'm not gonna fight with it all right so let's just forget the paper bag for a moment get a piece of cardstock here can do it that way too fold it over Now you have one that goes all the way through. You can do it in different sizes if you want. Ow. And you can even do the square ones. All the way through. Take your scissors. can trim this down just a hair here that's not straight but you get the idea that's not straight either this stuff out of the way here and 
Now, optionally, if you have a piece folded, you can also do them where there's just the one side. Now these, of course, will have to be glued together because they don't <clears throat> have the flip still. But it is an option to do them that way as well. And then you can keep the little circular bits for policy closures. Let me move that out of the way. <clears throat> Alright. So you can ink around them. And of course before you put the acetate in. You can ink the hole in the middle on either side <coughs> excuse me I forgot to get my double sided tape let me do that right quick um, because it obviously it actually works better with the acetate and the acetate I have came from Ally. it's actually cake decorators acetate But it's fine. It does the same thing. Okay. Let me trim that piece off. Okay. Excellent. Then you won't have to worry about um, anything bubbling up or having to wait for anything to dry or it not being clear or anything else like that. And I got sticky stuff on there somehow. So let me wipe that off real quick. And let's find a sticker that we can put in. Yeah, that'll work. to get my little tool out. <clears throat> okay. Yep. Say, I know I had double sided tape around here. What did I do with it?
see-through specimen card okay and then on um let me try this small one okay <coughs> kind of wanted to trim that off a little bit more at the bottom there we go. I can just trim that off, that's no big deal. Got this little bitty sticker here. Do I want to? I can put it right here. Maybe. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Now I could have inked uh, the hole. But I didn't. That's all right. I'll trim that off a little bit more. All right. But I am going to ink around the edges of each side. Now it doesn't matter that that doesn't show through. I was going to do one that has that was completely covered on the back um but I can always yeah I'll do that <clears throat> just glue it down 
and then the back will be covered because I had an idea for this one. Okay, and I'll just trim around it. Got a mess and a half going on over here. Alright. <clears throat> so that one has a solid back now. And my other idea for these little bitty ones, because they're tiny. Is to take my crocodile. And the little bitty, the little bitty hole. Poke a hole in the corner and take a little eyelet I think this is the 316th side uh, yes. and I have some tiny eyelets here Ebony and brown. I've got a black one that's pink, gold, green. Okay, I guess I'll just do a black one. weird. I've never had that problem before. Oh, did it lock up on me? No? Maybe? Mm. Yeah, it had locked up on me. I'm just gonna go in on the back and squash it down a little. <coughs> Got a piece of chain here that I could hang and dangle from, or something along those lines, or put a bulb clip in, or something like that. I was actually looking for, I've got some clasps. These little guys is what I was looking for. I don't have any aged ones, but I need to get an, uh, a, uh, I guess I could put alcohol ink on them. A jump ring on there. Of course, alternatively, you could put beads or whatever you wanted on there. That's not going to work. Okay. 
Where's the other one? Okay. So I'll put a couple of them on there. There we go. And then it can dangle off of a journal or a card or whatever. You can use them as a spine dangle or whatnot. So that was just my quick little idea to show you guys how to do little specimen slides without the use of a craft knife if you got a hole punch. Um, alternatively, if you don't have that, then you, if you have a compass, um, you know, like a drawing compass, like one of these, you could just draw your circle that way and then cut it out with a pair of scissors. And then you won't have to use a craft knife. If you don't have a circle punch or anything to do that with but just a quick little idea and you can make them you know colorful or grungy or whatnot it doesn't matter um but however however you'd like to do them to accompany your journals and of course you can have whatever you want in them but these are the ones with the paper bags that haven't been finished but i will finish those off like I said, they, they didn't give me any trouble when I was cutting them out of the paper bag the other day to see. But it just wasn't working on camera very well. But that's alright. I can, I can decorate a few of those up off camera and then put them in my stash and then I'll have them to use. But uh, when we come back, I think we're going to start working on a grungy journal. Um... And I've got a thick paper bag that had, uh, like, handles, but it's relatively thick. And I'm going to see about um, distressing it and using it as a cover. And I'll show you. It's just an Aldi bag. Paper bag. But I'm going to use the, the inside of it because it's, it's plain. Mm. You know, cut it down. And we'll see what that looks like when I'm done. Or, you know, as we're doing it, I have no idea. Because I've never, never tried it. Uh, what, what I have planned for it anyway. So, we will do that together, I guess. Alright, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys back here again really soon. Bye!